Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel of data science is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 Advanced SQL problems and topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and join, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expression. In this video, we are going to solve this question called biggest window between visits and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 46th video of the series called biggest window between visits and let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called users visits with two different columns, user ID and visit date. This table does not have a primary key. It might contain duplicate rows. This table contains logs of the dates that users visited a certain retailer. Assume today's date is 1st of January 2021. We are asked to write a solution that will for each user ID find out the largest window of days between each visit and the one right after it or today if you are considering the last visit. Okay. Return the result table ordered by user ID. Let's go to this example and see what do we need in our output. So here we have for various different user IDs the different visit dates. So if we look at right, so for user ID one, the first visit was on 20th of October 2020. Then the next visit was 28th of November 2020. So about 30, 39 days. Then after 28th of November, the next visit was on 3rd of December. So which is about what four or five days and then from 3rd of December we are assuming that today's date is 1st of January 2021. So about 27, 28 days. So obviously the largest window is between 20th October and 28th November that is about 38 or 39 days. So if we look at in our output for user ID 1 the biggest window is 39. Similarly we can do that for user ID 2 and 3. Okay. So to solve this question what we can do is for we can partition by the user ID arrange the visit date in ascending order and try to get okay use the lead window function to get what is the next visit date. So let's start doing that. So from this table called user visits if we keep both the columns so return star and then let's use the lead window function and get the next visit date so visit date and we need the next one right so that is why we write one and since this is a window function we write over and we need this for every user id so partition by the user id and order this by visit date right so because we need to start from the first visit then the second visit and so on so visit date and let's alias this as next right so our next visit whatever suits you so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output let me just drag it above so here if we look at our output so the first one was, was on 28th of october then 28th of november then 28th of november and 3rd of december and from 30th, 3rd of december to null okay now this is null so these nulls should be imputed with the current because the today we need to assume that today's date is 1st of january 2021 these nulls should be imputed using this value because then only you can calculate the number of days between 3rd of december till 1st of january 2021 2021 similarly 9th of december 1st of january 2021 and so on so we can provide the third parameter in the lead that okay once you get the lead and wherever it comes out to be null you can impute it with something so what we can do is we can write here so if it is null then 2021 01 01 okay uh, let me just bring it down here so that it's easier for us to read okay let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get in our output so now if we look at it, so those nulls are imputed by 1st of January 2021. Now what we can do is we can save this entire thing in a common table expression. So with CTE as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses. So this becomes our common table expression. And then from this common table expression, what we can do is we can get the difference in next and visit date so that we get the number of days between them so return all the columns and then use the date diff which actually calculates the number of days between two dates so next and visit date and let me alias this as let's say difference let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at it right so the difference between these two is 39 5 days 29 days and so on so now once we have this then what we can do is we can group by the user id and find the maximum difference and that is going to be the biggest window that we need so either you can save this in another common table expression and go ahead and do that or basically you can go ahead and do this so 
if you you are calculating this difference column right so obviously you have user id visit date and next you can group by the user id and then get the maximum of date diff of this so what i'm saying is from this group by the user id and then what you do is return the user id and then get the maximum of date difference between next date and visit date and alias this as right so this entire thing becomes maximum of this and alias this as whatever is required in our output so as biggest window so biggest window and we need to also order this by user id right so order by user id so we can go ahead and write order by user id okay so let me just drag it down so this is how it looks i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this and pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so somewhat tricky question but what we had to do was we just use the window function lead to get the next visit date so that we can use the current visit date and the next visit date to get the dif difference between the two dates so that we can then group by the user id and calculate the maximum difference and that is what we have as the biggest window so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video